Yeah, there were a lot of questions after that. You know, we should learn more during the virtual press conference with the Wayne County prosecutor tomorrow. Hakeem's brother told me tonight the family hasn't heard anything from police since that deadly day that he believes did not have to end that way. Some days I cannot sleep because I miss him so deeply that sometimes I cry myself to sleep. Nearly nine months ago, his brother, 20-year-old Hakeem Littleton, was shot and killed by police on San Juan Drive in Detroit. An officer-involved shooting that sparked instant protests on the streets of Detroit. Until Police Chief James Craig, in a rare move, released dash and body cam video that showed Hakeem pulled out a gun and shot at officers before they returned fire, shooting him five times, including once in the back of the head. I don't believe he played a role. I'm guessing my brother, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm guessing that his mindset was to help his friend. On Wednesday, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy plans to announce whether charges will be filed against any Detroit police officer involved. They should be fired, point blank. Lose their job. Never work for a police station ever again. Chief Craig did not apologize to my mom at all. He basically told a cop a good job. When it's a black cop shooting another black person to hit execution style, which is deadly force, if I'm not mistaken. On that July day, protests calmed down after the surveillance video was revealed. Not long after, lawmakers and civil rights leaders called for an independent and transparent investigation to determine if the shooting was justified. In the meantime, his older brother Rashad says, along with Akeem's criminal record, there was a lot of false information about his brother released, even claiming he was part of a gang. Although the chief had said the officers were just trying to protect themselves and others involved, Rashad believes his brother's death could have been avoided. What DPD should have done on that day, if they found anything on my brother, they should have just put him, detained him, and took him to, and then called my mom. And then that would have been case closed. But they decided to do deadly force. Now, we did reach out to Chief James Craig for comment on this case. He said he would not speak about it until the prosecutor's announcement tomorrow. Fuel. Taryn, condolences to the Littleton family. But look, we all remember how protesters took to the streets until the chief released that video, a video that plainly showed Hakeem pulling out a gun and shooting that police first. What did his brother have to say about that? Yeah, there was a lot of unrest until that video came out. And he says, you know, they still don't really know what led up to that moment. We just saw the video and he believes that police, now this is his opinion, obviously, could have done a better job at trying to detain Hakeem rather than shooting him. We will learn more about the entire investigation, hopefully, tomorrow.